Hi everyone, in this video, I will be reviewing the Atton Digital Kantar X3 Modular Bag System. I'm gonna show you all the components that are included that you see here. And also I will assemble this bag around my Kantar X3 so you can see how it all fits together. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So before I build this modular bag system around my Kantar X3, let me quickly show you what's included. Starting with the padded shoulder strap. Here is the front part assembly and two custom 3816 threaded screws. Here is the back part. Also, we have the two zippered side pouches, then also the front transportation cover and the zippered front pouch for your RF receivers and GAC. Also a transparent cover and a battery box that fits behind the front receiver pouch. Next, I'll build the modular bag system around the X3 so you can see how all of the components function as a whole and get an idea of each particular one's feature set. So to begin this bag build, I'm going to first need to flip over the back part. But before I do, I wanna show you, if I lift open this padded fabric, you'll see that there's an access point. And that access point is for the bottom of your Kantar 3816th receiver thread. So we'll go ahead and flip it over and prepare to put the Kantar X3 on top of the back part. And you'll want to have the locking latch in the rear because this ultimately folds up and clicks in to be your easy to access battery door. So I'm gonna start by putting the X3 directly on top of the back plate. And then I'm going to take my two 3816th screws and basically put them in each of the receivers on the top of the Kantar X3 like so. So now that my two custom 3816th receiver screws are securely in the top of the Kantar, I'm ready to add the front part. So I'm simply going to place it on top and this spring loaded mechanism is pulled back and simply locks into place. Okay, now that I have my front part mounted, I can go ahead and close my rear battery door by securing this latch. Now that we have our front part and back part assembled, let's go ahead and add the side pouches. Each one of these pouches has two independent compartments with a zipper and it secures to the front part and back part with a latch on each side. So before we move to our physical strap assembly, we're going to need to extend the receiver modules on the Kantar X3. To do so, we're going to take each one and physically pull. And as you can see, the poles themselves have been extended. Next, I'm going to lock them into place by giving each one a quarter turn to the right. What this allows us to do is make sure that we can attach the strap assembly on the other side of the modular bag. So now let's add the padded strap. And as you can see on each side, there are two connectors. So to attach the metal strap assembly, I'm going to push on the back part slightly here and then take the strap itself, push through and then slide up and it's locked into place. So now let's go ahead and attach the next strap assembly here. Once again, I'm gonna push the back part through and then find the opening and simply slide up also, you may have noticed on the back part, there are four D-rings and the additional clips on each side, I'm going to simply attach to the bottom D-ring. And now the strap is fully assembled. As you can see, I can pick up the back here, very secure and ready to go. Next, we'll go ahead and stow away our transparent rain cover, which has a convenient elastic mounting system here on the rear. So it's available when you need it. And we'll simply put that here on these two elastic straps, which have a bongo type clip. There we go. Next, we'll go ahead and add our front receiver pouch, which conveniently has elastic bands inside of here, which would be excellent for mounting wireless receivers. And on the rear, you have these spring loaded receiver latches where these male studs are going to fit. So to install this, I'm gonna push these clips forward here first and then simply just place it directly over the stud, pull the latch and pull this latch and it's locked into place. Let's go ahead and release the transparent rain cover system here and I'll show you how that works. Very simple, you have hook and latch on one side to go on the bottom and then you have a clip here and then it's ready to go. And to complete our X3 modular bag build, I'm going to add the transportation cover. And to do so, I'm gonna use the hook and latch on this side, like I did the rain cover. And finally, we'll go ahead and attach the receiver hook to the fabric loop here. 
And now, success. Our bag is ready to go. Thank you for watching my X3 modular bag overview video. I hope you found it helpful. Feel free to put your comments or questions below and I'll be sure to get back with you and I'll look forward to seeing everyone soon.